Hey everybody, hope all is well. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm in my workshop again. World's messiest workshop. And uh, it's during the day, so I got my shades on. Anyway, I was gonna make, I started to make a, a video with, uh, you know, all the little cartoons and the words going across and pictures and stuff. And it, took, it, it takes a long time looking up uh, typing in what uh, the mess you know what I want to say across the screen finding the picture that it goes to um, either turning it into a, a gif and then converting it into a video so I can edit those videos together into one long longer video there's a lot that goes into it um, a, a two minute video can take me an hour or two hours sometimes longer and then I messed up and uh, um, I'm just gonna I like kind of kind of like doing these videos kind of neat anyway came across an article um, uh, I think it was ES s uh, I'll try to remember to put the link in it was on Instagram and um, it it read I, I just took notes on it, um, it they're from s range e s r a n g e Sweden they're going to be launching, it said in the near future, a Texas rocket, T-E-X-U-S, Texas rocket. They're going to launch it 260 kilometers up, and it's going to free fall for six minutes of zero gravity. And what they're doing is they have um, powdered metal, and this powdered metal is, uh, they, they said steel. Um, because they then equated it to rust and then being able to recycle this rust into um, a combustible powder again. Um, so they're going to ignite it um, and they're trying to find the ideal blend of oxygen to powder, to metal powder, and also the size of the particulates in the metal powder. Um, they compared this type of reaction. It's called a, um, I'll think of it in a second. Um, but it, it, these particles, once there's an ignition, the heat from that ignition burns. It's basically radiant heat. I don't know if you know what radiant heat is. Radiant heat is like what we have from, um, say, a radiator um, on the, in the bedroom that they used to have a long time ago, hot water radiators, and the heat would radiate out. And this heat is hot enough to ignite the particles of me metallic powder next to it, like a forest fire. If you have this tree is burning so hot and this tree is burning so hot, that the tree between them bursts into flame from the radiant heat coming off of those. So that's how this system works. Um, and the name is right there. Um, so what they're doing is one the quote that I, one thing that I did quote from the article was, um, they said that uh, they are igniting this beyond the edges of our atmosphere. Well, our atmosphere, that, that's a general term because we have the atmosphere that we, in our house, we have the atmosphere that we breathe when we're outside, um, the atmosphere that holds down, you know, there's different layers of the atmosphere. And... Um, the one that holds our oxygen down and the nitrogen that we breathe in so where exactly are, are they talking about could this be the big no-no um, chemicals that are trailing behind these flying apparatus in the sky i guess i don't know i i mean i'm, I'm probably too small of a channel to get a strike so we'll just say chemtrails and these chemtrails that they are are putting out are um, 
a form of powder if you if you really stop and look at it and think about what they're doing they are either just spraying a powder out or um, somehow converting um, these liquids in, and just spraying that out which is then possibly turning into a powder um, and I thought well what if they're loading the sky yeah, for uh, weather purposes reflecting back the Sun you know all these things that they're telling us but what if deep the bottom line is um, Jesus is coming back soon and I know there's a lot that has to happen but none of that has to happen really he can come back whenever he wants um, and what if they're putting these chemicals these powders in the sky and they have the ignition source the solar sim solar simulator and are the ignition um, what what could ignite it possibly you know all these things are up in the sky I've seen pictures I've seen videos um, I haven't seen anything with my own eye except some weird cloud formations above my house squares um, but anyway so yeah what if uh, Christ is, is what if or is just being prepared the enemy being prepared like we should we need to be prepared like we prepare every day when we say our prayers and we put on our armor we put on God's armor it's not ours it's God's um, don't forget that it's God's armor that we're putting on not ours and um, so what if uh, yeah what if that's part of what's going on they're filling the sky with all this powdered metal and then he is maybe Satan's hoping that he has a chance to ignite it to I don't know what, he's gonna, what he thinks he can do but uh, it's just a thought that you know when I read this article that weighed on my heart so all right guys thanks for watching uh, say your prayers forgive each other and put on God's armor every day